Hey John here and this is the Canon Rebel T3i and I'm just going to quickly show you how to take a manual photograph with this camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our camera, we're going to switch it over to M which stands for manual. Now in manual exposure mode that's where you're controlling uh, basically three main settings, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO to manipulate uh, the amount of light coming into uh, the camera and trying to get the right exposure. Uh, and I'll set a link to another video I have if you want to learn more about exactly how SLRs work. Uh, so right now you can see I'm in M. In M mode it has the shutter speed highlighted. The shutter is the door that sits in front of the sensor. So if I lift open my mirror here you can almost see the door right there that sits in front of the sensor. That's the shutter door and you decide how long that stays open. Now when you do that See here, I get it to pop up. Uh, in order to do that, you turn your mode dial here, and you can see that changes my shutter speed. As I'm changing my shutter speed, you can see that my ISO is changing. That's because it's on automatic right now, and it's compensating automatically. Uh, if I want to change my aperture, then I hold down the AV button, and you can see it switches over to aperture, and I use that same wheel to manipulate that. The aperture is the iris that's inside the lens. Uh, it's always open until you take the picture or if you use the depth of field preview button. So it's kind of difficult to demonstrate on this camera. The ISO is accessed through this button right here. So you push that button and you can either have the camera choose or you can put it on auto. Right now I'm going to put it on uh, 400 which is a good ISO to have just for general shooting outside or, or maybe inside with decent light. Now, as I tap the shutter button, it's going to wake up my light meter, and this little peg appears, and it disappears after a couple seconds. But if I tap it again, it'll come up. That is the light meter. That is the camera telling me if the exposure is correct or not. And I need to manipulate these settings in order to get that little peg to be in the middle, in zero. So in order to do that, uh, I can, let's say I want to change my aperture first. I want to open up this aperture as wide as it'll go, so it will... Um, let in as much light as possible. So in order to do that, I push the AV button and then I move the dial and this particular lens will only open up to 3.5. The lower this number is, the more light it will let in. But this lens, this 18 to 55 standard, will only open up to 3.5. So that means that my shutter speed, you can see my exposure is still way overexposed. I'm, I'm more than four times actually higher, more light coming in than I need. So that means I need a slower shutter speed and that's fractions of a second. So you can see as I manipulate my shutter speed, you can see my light meter goes towards zero, so I'm at 1 800th of a second. Now that's at 400 ISO. The ISO is the light sensitivity of the digital sensor, and the higher this number goes, it's basically just pumping more electricity through the sensor to make the same picture with the less light. Uh, the trade-off is that it tends to be grainier and not very high quality. Uh, now, once you have that done, uh, I'm going to turn on the live view here by pushing this button just to make it a little easier. I have, um, you can move your focus point during live view with these arrow buttons, pushing the shutter button halfway down to focus. You can see I also have my, my light meter, my shutter speed, my aperture all listed right here, as well as the number of photographs I have left, and then my ISO. So that's all available in live view as well. So I'm halfway down to focus, it's green, it beeped, it's in full focus, now I can push it all the way down to take the photo. And now you can see my photo is correctly exposed. Now let's say, I'm going to turn off the live view here for a second, and let's say I take my shutter speed and I manipulate it so that my light meter reads negative 2. So that's 32 hundredths of a second. That's very fast. Go back to my live view. Now you can see that picture is almost completely dark. But if I change my shutter speed, you can see my light meter moving here. You can see it gives you an exposure preview. Look at that. So you can tell through the live view how bright or dark something is going to be you can see visually as well as on the light meter. And then if I manipulate my aperture, which I can only make smaller right now, it'll make it darker. So that's an excellent learning tool, an excellent way of, of really getting into photography. That's just the basics, so go ahead and go out and practice, ask a lot of questions, and I hope this has helped.